Hello world, it is Wednesday, June 16th, 2021, and it's a beautiful sunny day this morning and cool. It was really nice last night. It was 52 degrees when I went out running this morning, which is like perfect weather for um, for running. It is supposed to be, I think, in the, close to 80 today, so not terribly hot, but a beautiful day. The devotion for today is entitled A Workspace Blessing by Lillian Daniel. Lillian bases the devotion upon Colossians chapter 3, verse 23, New International Version. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord. Lillian writes, When was the last time you blessed your workspace? At the end of the workday, the average employee is thinking about doing many things, but blessing their space is probably not one of them. For people who work in hard jobs and under unpleasant conditions, the works, workplace does not feel like a place of blessing, but something to endure. But what if you blessed your space anyway? For people who enjoy their work and look forward to it, the workplace can be a place of productivity and service. But let's not take that for granted. Why not bless your space anyway? It had never occurred to me to bless a workspace until a parishioner asked me to bless her office. She invited her staff, but made sure they knew it was optional. After all, we live in a multi-faith world, which includes people of no faith. Nonetheless, a group gathered, and I prayed with them about their work and asked God for a blessing upon the office. Not every workplace or employer could pull off something like that, but there is nothing to prevent any one of us from blessing the space where we work with a simple prayer like this one. A Workplace Blessing Loving God, speak your grace, love, and mercy into this place. Bless my job with meaning and purpose, productivity, and usefulness, so that even my smallest task brings you honor. Thank you for the gifts you have given me, given to me to do. I do not take them lightly, but commit to using them responsibly and well. Bless the others who work with me. Make me grateful for their gifts and patient with their shortcomings. Like them, I have my share of both. Lastly, I acknowledge your mysterious power over all that I will speak, think, do, or decide here when I open my heart to the power of your blessing. Amen. I found this to be an interesting devotional and a reminder that all spaces we occupy are sacred spaces um, because in a way we're sacred beings made in the image of God. And what a difference it would make if we think of every place we're in as being a sacred space and worthy of blessing and worthy of recognizing it as a place where we can sense God's presence. It's kind of like if you took just took the time to just stop and breathe and be aware You might recognize God's presence in every place you are. I know some of you are, are working, some of you are retired, some of you are, are just not working. Um, but every space you're in, the space you're sitting and watching this devotional from, that's a sacred space. So just take a moment to breathe and look and listen and feel for God's presence there. And give thanks to God for that space. Asking God to bless that space. That it be for God's purpose, whatever is needed in your life at that moment. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care and have a blessed day in your space.